Hi, and welcome to TFYLP Microcasters. So, we are back, and uh, I've got extra people today, tonight. Extra so. people last week, too. That's it's true. Full. It's like a trend. It's so. a trend. It's Microcasters and More than one people. So... So yeah, yes. so we got Sean this week uh, because I, you know, he saw that we were going to be reviewing uh, Siege Astro Trade, and he's like, "Oh boy, I want to talk about him. He's so amazing." So that sounds like a direct telling. All so that's where Sean talks. Yes, yes, exactly. Maybe Sean will actually work on my custom wall. We're like doing the show, right? No, I did that last night, and I got something in my eyeball. Oof. It's not good. That's rough. No. So. Dremel work will do that to you. Mm-hmm. Dremel and airbrush. <laughs> I do and I do appreciate all of... Heads. I do appreciate all of your hard work on that, Sean. So. Oh, yes, and I, I appreciate you. <laughs> so, Astro Trent, this is him. Actually, part of that. I was gonna say, here's a, a, a big train. Here's the box. That's twenty dollars worth of Astro Trade right there. You're right. This is twenty dollars worth. Of is that twenty? Right Does it have the guns and everything inside? It has all but one of the guns inside. This has all the guns inside. Yeah. So I've got mine so, on the outside because I let Anna mess with mine, and so she put them all on the outside. So. Yeah, I decorated. It's better. I haven't done that yet. So Astro Train is the newest leader figure that my friends here have recently bought. <laughs> they all like to make the same mistake together. Isn't that it's the, it's the last Siege figure? It's over now. <clears throat> Yay! Goodbye, Siege. You're mean. What? That is not. That is mean, being like, oh, yay, goodbye, Siege. Siege was amazing. It's nice with AIDS End. Yeah, it ended before it put out any real crap. That's yeah, a good thing. That is true. Series so, goes on too long, you end up getting crap to miss. See? So you're saying Astro Train's good? No. We did start out with crap to miss, though. <laughs> did we? Yeah, that Optimus is horrible. Oh my god, that Optimus is great! I hate it. I was packing Which, it up to send it away today, and I was feeling so guilty about it, because it's such a good figure. The Look, Siege? Viewers, if you want to Siege Optimus, let me know. Well, I mean, I'm selling mine, so I probably shouldn't buy another. That doesn't really make I'm any not, sense. I said viewers. You're not a viewer. You're, uh, oh, uh, I'm contributor. viewing you right now. Well, that's true. But no, okay, viewers, so the Siege... It, let me know. The, the Siege... Uh, uh, Optimus actually was like the best chug Optimus ever, but then Incorrect. now it's actually going to get completely at, overshadowed by Earthrise Optimus, which is coming out, you know, whatever, Soon. in a couple months. So, so this guy Astro Train, he's a leader. He's a triple changer. He's gray and purple. Uh -oh. I like the purple. format of talking about alt modes first because the robot mode should be a present that you unwrap. Fine, fine, this is fine. this is not Siege uh, Astro Train. What, I was like, you have a robot we'll mode. We'll talk about him later. We'll, we'll talk I'll about that guy later. Shuttle mode. Okay, so Lucas the has the train mode up. The train mode is the worst mode of the figure. I don't know what you're talking about. This you I wait. like. I really like this train mode. I think that it's very accurate to the G1. I think it's accurate to trains. <laughs> Sean, what what do you think? Considering that you work on trains. I used to work on trains, and yeah, it's it's quite accurate. See? Except I've never worked on a steam locomotive. Accurate to what? A, a train made of piles of panels? A Astro train. It's a steam locomotive? Yeah. <sighs> no. And what does it for me is the, the teeny tiny front. Like the rest of it kind of no, blends together, and then the front. teeny tiny front, and it's like, why? It's like just tacked on there. But like we have to some windows on that other section. But but we have to like okay. I don't know. There's physics involved. Well, so one thing that I really like about this though this is, is I don't know if it's about? I don't know if it's showing up or not. This but like there's actually tree. there's paint on the sides and like the the front like the little light is is painted. And so 
I really like that because that's one thing um, the Takara usually does, but not Hasbro. So it's cool that they actually like that these little uh, like pieces and whatnot on the sides are actually painted to give it some like visual distinction. You know, when yeah. I first got mine, the front, I didn't open up the, uh, I didn't extend the top or extend the bottom and open the top. So it looked really small. And I wasn't that impressed. Yeah, I really hated it before I figured out how to extend that front. Uh -huh. But once Mom I figured that out, I still hated it. Yeah, yeah Lucas, I, this was hard I was to move stuck. Too. I figured it out, and it, it made it even at the bottom, so like it's on the same level. But it's just too small. I don't like it. I don't, I don't know. Like I mean, I think that this... So, this train mode is 100 times better than... Where's my... Then the train mode on this thing, like the train mode on this, is garbage. On on the uh, Titans Return one, it so, might be better. It's not a hundred times long time. better. It may be like know. one time better. I don't remember what the train mode looks like on this thing. It's been it's so just, long. I'm doing the splits really long. Hot like. garbage. Yeah, just they do the All splits right. in it. I might have to. I might have to make it later so that I can see. Oh wait, it again. I'm sorry. Hold on. I had to I had to flip out the train there. It's that's what the train mode kind of wow. looks like on the I actually think I already like it better just from the little bit I've done in my yeah. hands right here, but no. they're they're kinda of comparable to me, really. No. I, I think that the train mode on this now, like if if we're talking the LG, if we're talking Takara, which the Takara version is roughly the same price, like if you would have bought if you bought this figure, which is the Takara Legends uh, Titans Return Astro Train or whatever, like the price is pretty similar to what this new Astro Train is. So that's I think a good point yeah. against mm -hmm. buying this figure. What? what it is, why is though, it? A, I, I think like, it's at least a good point to compare. How about that? Because <laughs> you can get the LG, and I think it's a little bit better, but. Hey, that's okay. I mean, I still think that. Well, I mean, you know, I guess we'll get there, but I, I this still think it's made up of opinions. Yeah, I don't know. I think this new one is still better than the Takara I, one. But. It, it, train mode misses it for me, and it, it's so close because it's very nice up until the front. But the front is so jarring to me that I, I can't get over it. I I think it looks fine to me. I don't know. I entirely I do not like the train mode. I think the train well, mode is the Sean best of the alt modes. I I love the space shuttle mode. Well, the space shuttle's the, good. Where's see, the rest of? See, see, that's what I think is funny is is so everyone has been like online has been talking about how they actually like the train mode, and that they are like freaking out about the back end of the shuttle mode, uh, and yet you guys are the opposite. Okay, here's my rationale. That shuttle mode, it, that's how he looks. <laughs> And that's what it's supposed to look like. And you can even do artificial gravity if you want to. Here's my rationale on the shuttle. Okay, so he is supposed to be a Cybertronian mode astro train that does not need to look like anything. He just needs to be aerodynamic. He looks like, in shuttle mode, a robot that folded himself up into the shape of a space shuttle. And he it's has probably, enough uh, space shuttle parts that I feel like he can fly. <laughs> and the no, back is kind of bumpy and dumb looking, but it works for some reason. I, I am looking forward to the upgrade kit I that uh, I can use to put on the back of it. How about that? A piece of plastic that... What back of it? Over the leg bits there? Yeah, it's just the back is kind of bumpy. and on the, yeah, the back like... looks like... It basically looks like you took the back panel off of a shuttle and you just exposed the stuff on the inside, which happens to be a folded up robot this time around. I think the boxiness of the front of the shuttle looks exactly like Astro Train is supposed to look. Yeah. Like that, is, that is him. The train doesn't accomplish that, but the shuttle does. I, yeah, I think that's what it is for me. I feel the same. And very cool painted thrusters in the back. I love that. Yeah. It looks nice, I think. The launch pad, I'm not as sold on. I like that it does a thing. I mean, it's it a big. Does, it does fewer things than 
any of the other leader armor bits so far. It holds the spaceship, so it's it's something. It, it does holds connect it upright. to the, the modulators and sound barrier and whatnot from Earthrise, which is cool. Okay, so you can build more of a base out of it. That's neat. But this base, I don't know about you guys. I can't get mine to sit flat. The uh, the shoe. I can't get Lucas to go flat either. It, it just it keeps going up. Yeah. Had the same problem. Which is unfortunate because, you know, it could be like a crossroads, which would be great in a base. Because, you know, in a city, you need roads and sometimes roads intersect. I think it would be awesome as part of a bigger setup. But I mean, it, it doesn't is. work. When we're talking about all these extra bits that you get with these figures, like, you know, Shockwave. Shockwave allowed me to make a weird forearm Shockwave and also have shock lock with his yeah, extra shock. parts. And both of those things are fine. Like, Forearm Shockwave doesn't really look that great on display. I ended up taking him off of them. But it's a fun concept to mess around with. Be like, he has four arms. He's scary. Um, and then Shocklock is amazing. That's just, like, the best part of that figure. So I feel yeah, like I get used out of it. The, best thing. the Ultra Magnus figure, like, I actually do like the way the white robot looks by itself. And then the armor can be fun, too. The armor actually does make a good-looking Ultra Magnus outfit for him. He goes costume day and wears dressed up as Ultra Magnus. It's good. I feel like that's fine. This is the first leader class where I've actually been like, these bits do nothing for me. Like, in the train mode, it looks like a weird fade hitting off the end. In the um, spaceship mode, it's just a thing for it to stand on. It's a, it's a it's cool just, car. What is it in robot mode? I don't know. What is it? A box that's back? Yeah. Does uh, it I, really go on its back? Yeah, it goes on. The uh, there are two panels make uh, uh, slippers for him. Oh and yeah, the rest I forgot about a box that. On oh. His back. Yeah, it makes him tall. Which could be fine. I mean, he's got all these weapons. You could be like, oh, he's a heavy weapon specialist, and they combine into a ridiculous weapon. You know, you could be like, oh, it's the cool ammo box for that. But it it doesn't look like that. It just looks like a stupid box that hangs off the back. They're like, here, I'll make it for you. It you know what the best like thing is? is? the transformation. They keep the, like, kind of the G1 gimmick is folding. How do I chest. get how do I get these slippers off? Uh, just pull straight out from the they stick on with this part. It's funny. All I could see of the comment, the way my theme is set up, was it's pronounced Voyager Plus, and I knew that was you saying it, Randall. I knew that was, was definitely your comment. Like, I haven't put the slippers on, but here here he is in bot mode. Combined Blue. with the Oh, there, there you go. I love adding extra backpacks to my backpacks. So but Again, like it could be like the ammo box for his giant gun. Like if it, it had a, a, a hose like Shockwave has and just boom and, and connect it. It could be it could be something. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw an upgrade kit that tried, but Man, it's just so much bulk to go on the back of this already bulky figure in the back. It just yeah. So I'm never gonna put good. this the train car on the back of him, but like uh -huh. I do think all of the guns are cool. Like I do think the guns are great. Here, he's got slippers now. Yay! Now what so, you do is you can pose him with the box, like he's pulling a gun out of it. That sure. could be all right. It's like his box of guns. I think this box of guns is going to get a lot of use in my other Siege figures. I think Springer could use some better guns if I keep him. Hotshot always needs more guns. Crosshairs needs a gun. So I think it'll be fine. I'm glad it comes with a ton of guns, but this box also, is just... The, the one thing, you know, just imagining G1, right? Like, so you have this train car. So you could throw some Micromasters inside <laughs> of this train car and pretend that he's... You know, whatever. Yeah, like one micromaster inside the train car. Um, I, you could fit more than that. Let's see how many micromasters I can fit. Wow. I could probably fit two. If you take off the arms. If it's the sports car patrol, maybe. There you go. See, I got two. It's not even together, Lucas. <laughs> Put the car yeah. together. Put the box together. There. There. It's together. Use your imagination. You it's together. So, so, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I think that that's cool. Like, I, I just think the play features are 
are neat on it. Like, is it worth 20 bucks? I mean, I think that, you know, like Daniel said in the chat, like, no, it's probably not worth, you know, 50 bucks or whatever. It's probably worth more like 30. But yeah. if you really hate them, I, I guarantee you that you're going to be able to find this figure, uh, like, on clearance, like, in the summertime or whatever, because he is in siege, but then he's also going to be in Earthrise. So, like, yeah. I'm sure that he's going to be, like, just sitting on the shelves, kind of like how Shockwave is now. He's going to clearance hard. So. You want to? I still think I'd rather have this design. Nah. A feed on those are stupid. Your feet are stupid. <laughs> so, oh, no. wow. Look at him. Look at him in bot mode from the front. He has three paint applications from the front. Okay. Otherwise, he's just a mass of gray. I mean, it's, it's crazy. This is this is why they put all of the uh, battle damage on it. I didn't even Isn't notice Astro that Train... until just this moment. Isn't battle Astro damage Train supposed the... to be a mass of gray? I guess. I don't know. I think it's the color plastic used, maybe. Maybe I this mean, is my ape uh, face plastic, Anna. I mean, oh my god, that good. but that looks like plastic. The ape face so, looks like he's made out of toilet paper. Okay, so here here he is compared to the Doggy. LG version, right? So the one thing I will say on the LG version is is that he has <coughs> like inaccurate like things on his uh, knees or whatever to kind of break up the color. I, yeah. I think it was needed. Oh shoot! I forgot to flip down. He's the... wearing a gray onesie. I'll give that. I'll give that to you. But I mean, it's accurate. So, like, I just think it's funny that everyone complains. I don't know. Like, I I will say in general that compared to what Hasbro's given us in the past, and this this has what like fifteen dollars in repro labels on it. So, I mean, like, this is the thing is is like, I actually got an accurate figure the figure was roughly the price or whatever of like this plus the uh repro labels that i had to buy to make them look decent so and he comes with extra guns and stuff like that so if, if i'm imagining that i had to buy like this figure which is the uh, titan's return astro train and the repro labels and then i bought a bunch of non-f guns or something like that like that equals 50 bucks so Mm -hmm. I see that you've rationalized it out pretty well. Good job. That's the yeah, same way he's good to his wife. <laughs> yes, yes. It's just, I don't. <coughs> I like Astro Train. I like Triple Changers. I really, really, really want to like this figure, especially because he has he incorporates the MicroMaster base functionality, and he's a weapons pack. It like it's everything I could have wanted, but it all misses it by that much, and for that reason, it just it doesn't work for me. I agree. You, you know what's funny is, is so uh, like I have owned the DX9 Trigger. Uh, I have not owned the uh, Toy World uh, Evil Star, but like that thing looked like that was kind of a mess. I want that one. I think it looks neat. I don't. I, I'm telling you, like watch the transformation videos on it. Like it does not look fun to transform. So. <laughs> um. But what I was going to say, though, is, is like, we haven't really gotten... <laughs> yes, there you go. All right. <laughs> we we haven't really one. gotten Sean a good Astro Train. So, like, Mech Fans Toys is coming out with a Legends Plus Astro Train. That yes. one is very similar to this one. And honestly, what's going to be funny is, is that thing's probably going to be the same price as this. But Anna will somehow justify it, because even though it has the same transformation... And all that, it's, it'll be slightly better, so then she'll love it. Because it both alt modes look better from the pictures. Both they, alt modes definitely look better, and the robot mode looks pretty much the same. Yeah, I don't I know. I think um, that sorry, thing, he doesn't even have wrist articulation, right? Um, no, this one doesn't. Nope. Doesn't. And I bet the MFT one will, I bet it will have like five rests. I, I love how you can justify spending $50 on a Legends figure and be like, well, he has wrist articulation and he also comes with a little tiny Diaclone guy. So He's probably totally going to go with the Diaclone guy and it's going to be pretty. You can yep. fit Diaclone guys in here. There you go. 
So, so this one, I had an interesting thought about it. Um, at Black Friday, Pulse let me make a bunch of pre-orders at 20% off. I don't know why they did that. They had a code. It worked on pre-orders. That seems a bit broken, but I used it. So I used it on Astro Train. So I got him for cheaper than any of the other leaders I've gotten, which would be, you know, Magnus, Shockwave, Galactic Man, and Galaxy Upgrade Optimus. All of those were 50 bucks to me. This one at 43 is the one that I felt is too much money. I spent too much on this figure, and it was cheaper than all the rest of them. I think that's just crazy. That's how much it misses for me, and I don't... You guys know I'm a normally positive person. Man, this just misses the mark for me. I, re- I wish it didn't. I like trains. I like space shuttles. I like micromasters. I like triple changers. It just doesn't work for me. I like Astro Train as a character, even. Yeah, me too. He's fine. I'd rather have the classics figure. No. Classics than LG, then Titans Return, than this. The, the classics one is not good either, so... I. I don't know. I don't think the Classics one is great. I think that the Classics one is... I actually think his alt modes are better. No. Oh, for I think, sure his alt modes are better. Um, I think that... I mean, the Titans Return one, if you bought the LG, I mean, it's got huge holes, like like the feet suck. Um, I think the train mode is stupid. Um, I don't train know. Train mode is fine. Sorry, I, train. I, I think that, um, I don't know. I, I still think that this is the best Astro Train that we've gotten to date. I think that once the fans' toys comes out, like, it's going to be 100 times better. And, you know, of course, I mean, it's not even a comparison because, I mean, we know f- the fans' toys will be better. But, like, I, I think for a Chug Astro Train, I think it's a fun transformation. I think that it does a good job of recreating a G1 uh astro train but making it accurate to the cartoon so i like it um i don't i don't know i i kind of feel like it's a little bit like uh the megatron that came out for siege where it's the best chug megatron in my opinion but like i still think that like there's gonna be a better one one day like like i don't love it if that makes any sense Every other Chug Megatron is better than this Megatron. No. Okay, fine, Christian. We can agree to disagree, but that's fine. I disagree yeah. to this. I'm just kidding. It's fine. I mean, okay. you could, you guys share you my screen. Spend 50 bucks on G1 reissue, you know, Astro Train, or you could get this Astro Train. Um, okay. I, I think I successfully shared my screen with you guys. Now, now you can see. This is pictures of the upcoming MFT Astro yeah. Train and its alt uh, modes. They both the look better. Looks basically the same to me, but the the train mode looks phenomenal. And if for some she reason on, on the broadcast, like it's just frozen with your face. Oh, too bad. Um, I don't know if I can. Oh, here we go. Here, hold on. Hey, like Randall said. He has a coal car, so there's. Oh, wait, now I'm sharing everything. Whoops. It doesn't actually have anything in it. I mean, look what it has in it. Oops. Upside down feet. Here, let me let me try that. All right, I, I'm just sharing the screen here. Can you see my my picture then? Stop digging. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the dog. And what size is this one? That's Legends Plus. This is going to be Legends Plus. And how much is it going to cost? Probably about 50 Okay. So, I mean, yeah, it's going to be expensive, but I think that in this case, I, I really like that train. I think the shuttle, like Christian said, is very similar. I do think it's actually a little better just because it doesn't have the bumpy back that most people hated, um, even though I was happy with the... Um, shuttle mode on the um, Siege one anyway. And um, given how nicely their um, Rodimus came out, I'm pretty confident that it's going to come out good as far as color and paint and everything as well. So this is probably going to be my Astro Train. I may try out Fans Toys again. 
Yeah, I think the fan toys will probably be the best one. So, all right. I'm at a masterpiece. I'm at an expensive figure. Do you? Hey, Anna, can you show? Important enough to me. Can you for? uh, Can you show off the? Oops. I would like to me. Okay, I was gonna say if you could share show the uh, bot mode. So. Oh, let Mm. me try to find a picture of it. I just looked up the poop mode, alt modes. Um. Let me. I am the new Astro Train. Why am I the new Astro Train? Here, I got a bot mode. Give me a second. I have to save the picture. I'm not as computer literate as I probably should be. I, I think as soon as I became a professor, I lost my computer literacy. Is it asking you to press any key? <laughs> Are you looking for the any key? I I can't find it. I don't know where it is. So, somehow, Start. like, you're just... Like, you're not even moving, Anna. Like, it's just like a picture of you now. Gross. So. Hope it's a decent picture. Are you sharing? Are you sharing your screen? Let me know I'm when you share. I'm sharing now. Hold on. Hold on. Share. I shared. Okay. There. Oh, I have to move this up a little bit so no one can see how many tabs I have open. It's embarrassing. Better. Hmm. All right. There's his robot mode. I am not wowed by that robot mode. I like it. I think it looks great. Do you use Word on an Apple product? I do use Word on an Apple product. Oh, you can see all the programs I have open. Yes, guide. Okay, here we go. I finally got your shirt screen shared. Okay, so I think that looking at the mech fans toys, like I don't know if I like that hip skirt. I think I like the siege better. Yeah, so, Siege's hip skirts do a little bit better, I think. But it, it kind of looks like it transforms essentially the same way. I mean, there's probably only so many yeah. ways you can do an Astro Train. I think it's very similar. Like, I yeah. think the, the transformation's going to be similar. The robot mode's going to be similar. I think they just did a better job on the train mode that's going to stand out to me. Yeah, I think the train mode is critical. I don't know if this was wrist. I don't know if his wrist rotate or not, but... Um, if they do, that'll definitely sell me on thinking this figure's better. Because it looks like he has good arm articulation. looks like his legs should be fine. The skirt is a little ugly. And then definitely it looks like his ankles work better. I had a lot of trouble getting the ankles to work on Lucas's. You did? Mm-hmm. I mean, they seem like they work fine to me. They suck so bad for me. Yeah. Yeah, in the comments, Anna, they're saying they're not digging the the bot mode of uh, the mech fans toy, so he automatically loses. Uh. Yeah, that's okay. All right, I stopped sharing because I want to go back to looking at the Facebook feed. I want to be able to see comments. I guess the bot mode on Siege is fine. I liked it better than Mech Fans Toys just there, but everything else I liked better on Mech Fans Toys. So, so I mean, I think, yeah. I, I think I'm stuck with this one for now because this is the size I collect. Yep. Because I don't, I don't do Legends, I don't do Masterpiece very much. So I think this is it for now, but. I think the two are pretty equivalent. I mean, I think overall. The in so many ways for me. Like, for me. I had. I had the um, the DX9 uh, one, and I spent like 160 bucks on that thing, like back in the day. And I, I just think that this one is equivalent. Like I like the train mode on this one actually better than that one, just because that train is I don't know, just kind of a blob of a. All right, well I guess you call it a train thing. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I think I think it's like pretty decent. Like I would recommend it. So, and my thought is, I would not recommend it because I don't like the alt modes. All right, I I like the train. All right, I don't like the train mode. I do like the shuttle mode, and I don't think the robot mode is as fun to play with as it should be. It's more of a struggle. Mode. And I agree. Shuttle mode. <laughs> and his face is. Anna, your face is just going to be frozen like the entire time. I know you need to like fix that because that is a terrible face. It's for me, not at least to get a better face. It's it's not it's not me. 
Like if you look on my like on my Skype or whatever, like on your Skype, is it on your guys' Skype? Does it look like? Does she look like that, or is it just mine? On Skype, I'm she's normal. Moving. On Skype, on my Skype, you're not normal. Now she's yeah, rocking. You've, you've so given her a compliment. Oh, so yeah, it is on Lucas's feed then. Can you uh, try try like un, like uh, muting your video or whatever, like so that you you can't Absolutely. see your video and then come back. Bye. All right, now come back. I'm back. There you go. All right, that fixed it. All right, cool. I'll stop making it. Did you, Sean, what did you say? I missed what you said. Propeller saying. problems, Lucas? What? Looks like Lucas's spinister is having propeller problems. What? Your spinister. Propeller problem. Oh. Oh, that it's like... Yeah. Did yours not do that? No. No, the, there's a ti- that tiny little tab. It's it's hard to. Whenever I first got mine, it wanted to do that, but then I had to like squeeze where it comes together in the back. Oh, huh. there's a tab that goes through that locks it in. Well, what do you know? Learn something every day. Thanks, Sean. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Awesome. So. Yeah. Sean, what what's your verdict on it? My verdict is it's good and it's the best one on the market currently. He has good bulk. He looks like Astrotrain. He has a pissed off face sculpt. And um, I'd rather spend the equivalent amount of money on him rather than the G1 reissue. So he he fits the uh, the current aesthetic. Oops. And he's a nice bulky look, not real tall and lanky with with uh, boat bottom feet, um, like the Titan's Return was. So, um, train, right. mo- train mode is awesome, and I agree with Randall where he has a coal. He needs a coal car on the back of his steam train to actually work. So, so you know his, his train mode's accurate. His shuttle mode is lacking in the back, but. Uh, you're supposed to use your imagination. These are playthings. So, and and then he has he has a soapbox, you know, so he can you know try to leave the Decepticons. Yeah, and I know Daniel in the chat that mentioned that he he thinks that uh, the the Siege Astro Train has a great bot mode, and that that's pretty much the mode that he's going to have them in most of the time. So it it's a win for him. So, yes, fair. I think that's a good point. I think, like, just like when we talked about Hound, if that MP Hound is going to be your Hound action figure, it's a great purchase, as long as you don't mind spending that much money on it, because it is an excellent Hound action figure. I think this is a good Astro Train action figure. I do think it's probably going to be about, I think this and the MFT are going to be equivalent toys, as far as just robot modes. Is it MMC Astro Train? MFT. MFT. McFan oh, toys. toys. Got it. You know, I'm, I've been looking at him for this whole show, naturally, and I think that I might like him more in the white color scheme that was the uh, Hasbro reissue. Huh. Not Interesting. Not the current reissue, the book box reissue from way long ago. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, I will say in general, like, his chest, like, the little the little parts, like, don't show up that well. Um, like underneath, like it's pretty small. And so it just doesn't, like, I do agree. It's like, it's a lot of gray, um, but I don't know. I still think he's cool. He's wearing a gray jumpsuit. He's at work. (laughs) All right. So two yeses and two noes? Yep, pretty much. House divided. Mixed verdict. I like it. That's the whole thing. I originally, when I proposed the show to Lucas, the reason I proposed it was that Lucas and I rarely agreed. So I thought it would be fun to have a show where two people who didn't agree on figures gave you the goods and the bads of the figure and gave you like two different perspectives. So I love it when we disagree. It's great. I'm just glad that we had Sean come on so that way I could get somebody to back me up that this is a good figure. Yeah, you're right. I'm glad Sean is here too. I mean... You get you can't always be right. So, I mean, half half the room right now is wrong. The other half's right. So, 
No, I think I'll actually leave up to the viewer to uh, decide. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a really mean statement here and say Christian's actually the only one who's wrong. Because you two both like it and you own it. I don't like it and don't own it, but Christian doesn't like it and does own it. Christian's gonna sell his for what he thinks it's worth to him. <laughs> is is Christian gonna put him in a box to, to send to Nick one day? Maybe. <laughs> No, he's going to sell it to me for the ultimate irony. That would be the ultimate irony. He's going to go on the shelf with the the Siege Decepticons for a little while. And if he fits in, he might stay for a little while. If not, he's going to go away. Sounds fair. He and Optimus and Spurner can take a trip together. Yeah. I've gotten rid of those other two so far. So, uh, so I believe we should be having an announcement wallet tomorrow night. So, uh, check that out, and we we should hopefully have another live show uh, Sunday. Sorry for the uh, skip this this last week, but uh, uh, yeah. And uh, if you like us and what we do, uh, you know, can uh, consider supporting us on Patreon, patreoncom slash Uh Tiers from a dollar uh, on up to twenty five. So. And do you guys have any final thoughts before we wrap? You know what's better than AstroTrain? Calculation Kid. No. No. AstroTrain's a better buy than that. No oh way. <laughs> AstroTrain's a way better buy than Calculation King. How what? can you actually think that? Like, I need a, I need so an much. eight-page paper explaining how... <laughs> Um, I collect Transformers, not weird knockoff trash. Yeah. Oh my god, it's oh. not a knockoff! Wow. It, it's technically not a knockoff. It's not it's technically, technically trash. not a knockoff. It's absolutely not a knockoff. <laughs> it, is it, it in no way looks any worse than any of the official combiners. Ugh. No, no, it does. Oh so, my god. hey, can you show off his... Can you show off his his head articulation again? Oh, yeah? Why don't you show me the head articulation of all your other combiners, too? Not all of them have it. <laughs> hey, are, are C-Cons coming out in two weeks? They are coming out. Yes. Woo! I'm excited. That's going to be uh, awesome. February. Yeah, Snapchat and Scalar are due out in two weeks. We'll Who see did? if they stick to that deadline, but I think it'll be close to it. Who feels like they're like paying like double the price of what they should be paying for these things yeah everyone who's rational yeah i mean why are the deluxe is like almost 40 bucks i don't want to talk about this anymore this debate has been done into the ground i saw the sick sick feeling in your stomach All right, no, all right, we're for real going to go. We'll, we're going all right, to we'll talk about that later. So all we right. can have a whole show Next about week, it. More toys. See you later. <laughs> Randall has, sorry, he has a really great comment at the end here. Your presentation for TF Expo. It's technically not a knockoff. <laughs> it's not technical. It's more like it's not a knockoff, bleep, bleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, you guys are so mean. <laughs> I, I can't help that I have better taste in toys than you all. All right. Ha- have a good night, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Good night.